Picture this, you're a CAD designer and you've just purchased your first seat of SOLIDWORKS. Now, you'll have to decide how you'll handle your old CAD data. But editing and revising imported geometry versus fully featured models, it's a bit like trying to make a ball etched from marble versus just using Play-Doh instead. FeatureWorks helps you save time and money by converting imported geometry into features that, like Play-Doh, are more pliable to design changes. Come along and you'll see how we can build pliability back into your models using both automatic and interactive feature recognition. When designing in SOLIDWORKS, it's helpful to design using the following process. Add material by using bosses, cut away material where machined, then add cosmetic fillets and chamfers. The inverse is true when using FeatureWorks. FeatureWorks functions by defeaturing dumb solids to simplify the model's geometry. This is what is called the reverse design workflow. It consists of identifying features first by cosmetic fillets and chamfers, then cuts, and lastly bosses. If the model is too complex, it might be hard for a successful conversion. With that in mind, let's hop over into SOLIDWORKS. SOLIDWORKS FeatureWorks can be accessed either by opening an imported part model or through the drop-down tools, FeatureWorks, Recognize Features. Through the Property Manager, I can choose to recognize standard or sheet metal features and tell SOLIDWORKS which features to detect. The next page confirms which features SOLIDWORKS recognized. When I complete the command, SOLIDWORKS builds the feature tree into a fully featured model. The benefit of this is that I can now flatten my sheet metal component. Now, let's use feature recognition to identify some standard features of a machined component. First, I'm going to turn off any features that aren't included in this model. In the intermediate stage of the property manager, we can see the features that SOLIDWORKS recognized. The unrecognized body feature at the top means that at least some of this model won't translate into a SOLIDWORKS feature. In many cases, this hybrid model serves as an acceptable translation. If the part still hasn't defined the feature desired, you'll need to go back and use interactivity to complete the unrecognized features. I'm going to use the reversed design workflow we covered earlier to recognize these chamfers first, which will then be removed from the model. Again, the goal is to simplify the model enough to extract the individual shapes of each feature. The delete face tool will delete and fill any unrecognized fillets or chamfers so that they may be added back later. It's helpful to note that at any point, I can switch back in automatic mode once I believe my geometry is simplified enough. In the intermediate stage, I'll combine any features that should be grouped together. I can build child references through fine patterns to meet my design intent as well. Fine patterns can identify linear, mirrored, and circular patterns. And I could do this also manually after converting if for some reason the combine is unsuccessful. I can also validate that my features were correctly recognized and re-recognize any features that don't meet my design intent. Now, let's compare the feature manager design tree for both modes. The interactive mode is fully featured and has fewer features which are now named. What was once several features that formed a counterable whole is defined in just one whole wizard feature. Additionally, only one chamfer and one fillet feature drive all of the cosmetic geometry. The interactive feature tree translated the model similarly to how it was built in the original CAD platform. This fully featured model is more pliable and even performs better than the automatic mode did. Even though both are a dramatic improvement to direct editing. 
FeatureWorks offers designers and engineers a much more comfortable editing environment than dumb solids do. I'll be able to automatically place dimensions in drawings, run optimization analyses, or even drive design changes through the use of design tables. No more chipping away at that marble pillar of dumb solids. FeatureWorks is a powerful tool that can help you refeature dumb solids as if it was designed natively in SolidWorks. This helps save time redesigning time-consuming models by making use of the data that's already captured. So ditch the chisel and mallet approach and make your models more pliable to change with SolidWorks features. If you want to learn more about how to make best use of your non-native CAD data, please contact a CATI sales rep today.